So I try my best to hit 100% on this TubeBuddy SEO score to rank high on YouTube. And here, TubeBuddy is 100% sure that I should change my thumbnail from this one to this one. Hey guys, I'm Jade, and I already shared this VidIQ versus TubeBuddy video, so you can choose the right tool for your YouTube channel. And in this video, let me show you the four best TubeBuddy features that you can use to get more views on YouTube. So find the TubeBuddy affiliate link in the description and click on it and you can download the TubeBuddy for free to your Chrome extension. And the first feature that I want to talk about is Keyword Explorer. So on YouTube, click this TubeBuddy icon on the top right and you want to click Keyword Explorer. So on this bottom, you can see that what's trending in the country that you are living in. So right now I live in South Korea, but let's change it to United States. Then I can see the trending keywords in United States. So definitely check out the trends for more opportunities to blow up on YouTube. Then you want to put your keyword here on the search bar. So here I'll search TubeBuddy. So overall score for the keyword is fair at the moment. 36 out of 100. That's weighted score for my channel. So there are two types of TubeBuddy overall score, weighted and unweighted. So unweighted is general score for how good this keyword is to target it based on search volume and competition. And weighted score is how good this keyword is for my specific channel. So if I click on it, you can see that this unweighted score for TubeBuddy is poor because the search volume is excellent, but the competition is really high. For weighted, my overall score got better, and it also shows this graph of me versus top ranked videos for the keyword the TubeBuddy. So we can definitely say that weighted score is more accurate for my channel. But if you want to get the weighted score, you need a TubeBuddy Pro account. So I would recommend you to start with the free version and use the unweighted version first. And when you really like TubeBuddy and want to get more accurate data for your channel, then you can upgrade it to Pro. So this is how I find the good titles and tags for my YouTube channel. So for example, for this video that I rank number one on YouTube, I originally wanted to title this video TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So here on TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer, I typed TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So I got this score good, 44 out of 100. So I was like, okay, let me find some good better keywords for my title. So I looked at this, video searches, web searches, video topics. So here on video topics, I found which is better, TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So I clicked on it and the overall score got slightly better, 48 out of 100. So I kept digging. So here on the bottom, you can go back to your previous searches. So let me go back to TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. And under this common video tags, I saw vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. So I clicked on it. And here I got 76 out of 100. Very good. So I was like, huh, interesting. Okay, then I'll definitely title my video vidIQ versus TubeBuddy instead of TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So I titled my video vidIQ versus TubeBuddy 2021 which is better. And this video is ranking first on YouTube and Google. So I definitely recommend you to do your keyword research and write good title and tags. I explained how important they are in this video. So don't forget to check it out if you want to rank on YouTube as a small YouTuber like me. So I found a great keyword that I want to target. Then I click results. Then I check out these videos on search results. So here under the research tab, I found these red and blue thumbnails on YouTube search. So these red and blue thumbnails do really well on the search result. So my thumbnail used to look like this. But after I saw this, I made my thumbnail red and blue, like this one, to rank high on YouTube. And you can also click on historical and see if the search volume is increasing in general. So that is how I use TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer to rank high on YouTube. And the second feature is SEO Studio. So after I choose my keywords for title and tags, I upload a video. Then on YouTube Studio, I click 
details and then from here I click this chupati icon then I click SEO studio and here I type my targeted keyword which is vidIQ versus chupati then I click start so there I got 100% from chupati SEO score okay let me try this video so chupati SEO studio and let's say I want to target rank on YouTube as a small YouTuber and click start. And there I have TubeBuddy SEO score 95%. So as you can see here, I already did all these things. Include your target keyword in the title, include 80% of your target keyword in the title, include your target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title. And I just want to mention that SEO studio feature is not free. So if you want to optimize your video for free, you might want to pause this video right now and write this list down so you can check this list by yourself and optimize your video or you can pay nine dollars a month and check it automatically with TubeBuddy. It's your choice if you pay annually you can also save 20 percent so you can get a pro version at seven dollars and twenty cents a month and moreover if you have less than 1,000 subscribers you can get 50 percent off as well so you'll pay three dollars and sixty cents per month to use the pro version so step one was complete everything looked great so i click next and here's what i'm missing include your exact target keyword as the first tag so to do that i can just click add now button and there now i included my exact target keyword as the first tag and now i have 100 percent so i click next and on step three i can see youtube search result page for my targeted keyword and see other youtubers thumbnail and compare mine to improve my thumbnail. So to improve your thumbnail, you want to check out these thumbnail tips on the right, right here. Use bright colors and high contrast image. Include a close-up of a human face whenever possible. So after comparing the thumbnails, click next and then you can hit apply to video. And now my SEO is perfect, at least according to TubeBuddy SEO Studio. <laughs> my video is is perfectly optimized for the target keyword. You know, some YouTubers say that tags are not that important, but as I already explained in this video, YouTube does care about tags as well as title and description, so it's better to optimize them as much as you can. Okay, third feature, this is my favorite one. So on TubeBuddy homepage, you can go to A-B test and you can click manage. So this A-B testing is the best TubeBuddy feature that you can get. So as you can see here, I'm running several A-B testings at the moment. So whenever you design your thumbnail, you're like, I don't know which one is better. And you ask your friends and family, hey, which one looks better, right? I did that all the time until I had this A-B testing feature. So what this A-B testing does is that it literally changes your thumbnails for a few days like Monday this thumbnail Tuesday this thumbnail Wednesday this thumbnail and TubeBuddy lets you know which thumbnails performs better on YouTube so I'll click on this one and it says we are 100% sure that your variation will perform better than the original and you can see the data here so click the rate so much better impression this one is better watch time also the variation is so much better and everything to be honest variation thumbnail did better than original oh except this one YouTube search on YouTube search original performed better so here it says based on click-through rate the variation version of your video outperformed your original by 202 percent that's a huge difference right there 202 percent so this is my original thumbnail and this is my variation thumbnail set video to variation and now I have updated this video to the variation version. Okay, let's look at another one, this one. So for this one, TubeBuddy is only 55% sure that variation will perform better 
better than the original. And it said, this is not yet considered statistically significant. 95% confidence level is required. So actually, this is the same exact thumbnail with different background color. So in this case, I'll just keep running this A-B task until I get more accurate results. So to create A-B task for your channel, just click create A-B task and choose your video. Then you select this thumbnail CTR test and I'll set the number of the days as 14 days. So select and click continue. And here you want to upload the variation thumbnail. So this will be my original thumbnail and this will be my variation thumbnail. I love this feature, but unfortunately it's not free. You need a legendary account to do this A-B testing. And now the last feature that I want to talk about is pretty new. So on YouTube, you click TubeBuddy icon and then you click this click magnet. So as you can see here, click magnet is in beta. Expand your audience and drive more meaningful views by turning your videos into click magnets. So let's get started. So here, the power rankings. If you want people to watch more of your videos, create content they create. So if I click on it, you can see my best performing videos. So my number one video is print on demand video, but unfortunately I don't want my channel to be about print on demand, so I'll pass. And number two is VidIQ versus TubeBuddy. So that's the reason why I'm making this TubeBuddy video. So number two, three, four is about YouTube growth. So I'm making more videos talking about YouTube growth, including this video. So it's really good to see which videos are performing better on YouTube. And I can go back and click CTR opportunities. So here, TubeBuddy shows my videos that are performing well, but has really low click-through rate. So they are the proven winners, but not enough people are clicking to watch. So what I have to do is I have to focus on improving titles and thumbnails to increase overall click-through rate. So I should make some better thumbnails and run A-B tests on them and find better titles and thumbnails. So this is how I use TubeBuddy to get more views on YouTube. And if you found this video helpful, I'm sure this how to grow on on YouTube video can help you as well. So don't forget to check it out and I'll see you guys there.